Good morning, folks. We've got a number of top stories to hit today, so let's not waste any time. We're starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com, and we find the last day utterly silent. You can see the southern patchy coronal holes dancing across the disk, a bit larger one becoming visible this morning. Still, no sunspots. But when we come to look at the solar wind, we find the stream calming back down to the ambient background levels, allowing geomagnetism to attain significant quiet periods over the last day. But when we look back over the entire last year of solar wind, the last 12 months, to be noticed on the right is the peak solar wind speed of the duration. That was the coronal hole stream that caused days of geomagnetic storms at the start of September, which hadn't happened in about two years, and which matched up with Hurricane Dorian's wind speed intensifications. Folks, I can't believe there is another one of these to report. Hikers feeling the power. After two incidents in Colorado and one in California, this was mostly a high static situation in Alberta, making for four of these, at least, in the last two and a half months. Moving on next to the top weather event of yesterday, tornado came screaming through Sioux Falls, South Dakota, damaged a number of businesses and homes. Cleanup began slowly in the overnight hours, and the full breadth will be seen today. Quick look at tonight. After last night's storms peter out, we will have another strong system descend off the Rockies and into the upper Midwest. Eyes open again there tonight. And also, as usual, the Philippines earthquake uptick many of you are noticing on the app once again stares down a typhoon heading on shore by tonight. Very slow moving there. Folks, I believe this eclipses 50 professor or official agency delivered reports of Solar Cycle 25 forecast. Way more forecast this round than for any solar cycle in history. And this one here out of India happens to match our own forecast for a similar cycle to the one we just had. But I will critique their saying that such could stop discussion of an impending grand solar minimum, which is coming later this century, and even one hiccup in the downward trend isn't going to change that. Up next, ESA has yet another asteroid article out, this time with some fun graphics and their Hera Dart Impactor videos if you haven't seen those yet. Some more cool visuals here before we hit the science. Amazing radio work on the dusty disks around binaries. P.S. The part of any of those rings dimmed to black indicates it's the furthest point from us in perspective and has stellar occultation of the full ring structure. So folks, we have many times checked in on supernova simulations, including Fornax, but they have now updated even further. In truth, I'd love to have the new video of their Nova Science, but I'm not sure they've even put it out yet. Alas, we do have some incredible model images in their paper release, including what looks like an MRI or X-ray of the expanding shell. This paper, along with all the news articles we see every day, are linked for you below the video in the description box. Now let's have a bit of fun here. First with dark matter scientists who ran a model and came up with a major declarative claim about the missing matter in the Milky Way. Now if you are thinking to yourself, how do you do this when you've never found dark matter and you don't know its mass or interaction profile, you're right, you can't. Moving on to a very cool array doing what should be very cool science. Thousands of these arrays make for one of the greatest radio probes of the deep cosmos we have here on Earth, but alas. They are looking for the signals of, quote, the first stars 12 billion years ago, when mainstream science says the modern universe began. The problem with that is they continually see supermassive galaxies and quasars at older distances, some in excess of 13 billion years, not to mention the stars like Methuselah's star, which comes in as being older than the Big Bang, and it's not the only one. Folks, like Dr. Melia explained in our Plasma Cosmology movie, their timeline is a complete catastrophe. Last but not least, it's almost ironic, the title and subtitle in light of our recent climate movie. The title and subtitle are true, just not in any realm resembling anything like what they're aiming for. This does well describe how they view their opposition, but in reality, it is how one should actually characterize themselves. We greatly appreciate your support. I mentioned the plasma cosmology and climate movies. Both of those and the Cosmic Disaster movie are linked below. 90% of the things we cover at this channel can be caught up and consumed in just those three films. We've got your wind map forecasts and shots of our star to close, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 5.05 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.